Hey guys, happy Tuesday. Welcome back to Ancestral Healing. So I have a confession to make. I've been bad. I've been drinking coffee for a while now. If you guys have seen my other video that I quit coffee, well, I started drinking it again because I freaking love it, but it's not serving me. So I wanted to make this video to kind of hold some kind of accountability for myself. So if I put it out there, you guys can kind of hold me accountable or just, I just feel like I have, I can't let anyone down, but specifically myself. And now this is not a video to make you want to quit coffee, to convince you to quit coffee. I know how good that cup of coffee is in the morning and being on an animal based diet or if you're strict carnivore, sometimes that's all you have. Sometimes that's your like little piece of joy in the morning and I'm not here to take that away from you. I want to quit coffee because it has a hold on me. I can't function without it. And I'm starting to see some things that I don't like. So I just want to grab control of this addiction. I want to go without coffee for one month. And I really want to work this time on having the control of when I want to drink coffee. If I want to drink coffee. I know a lot of people that do that. And I admire them. I love when you can pick and choose when you wanna drink that coffee and you don't have to wake up in the morning and without it, you can't function. And I was getting to that point, even though I was only having one cup of coffee with an egg yolk inside and it was so delicious, but I was starting to see some negative side effects um, around my menstruation cycle. I was having a little bit more pain than usual and I never have that. I usually am almost symptom free. Maybe I'll get a tiny bit of cramps for like the first hour but my periods were starting to be a little bit more painful than usual and I feel like it's that cortisol spike in the morning. When I drink coffee, I don't necessarily feel jittery or anxious and I think that's because I have the egg yolk in there and I whisk it up so that's a good source of fat to kind of protect my stomach, but I do feel like, kind of like, I think I explained this in my other video, it's like a permanent state of functioning manicness um, and I can only pinpoint that feeling when I quit coffee because I'm like oh I don't feel that anymore what was that like how on earth were I functioning like that because when I don't quit coffee and I quit coffee for months before and when I quit coffee I actually feel better than when I don't drink coffee so it's kind of weird that I always come back to it and I always get addicted to it but it makes total sense. Caffeine is highly addictive. But when I do quit coffee, I start to realize that I actually like who I am a little bit more. I'm more calm, more focused, more sharp. But yeah, the, the calmness is a big thing for me. I feel like maybe that manic state is like a little form of like the butterflies in my stomach that the coffee gives me. So basically, I just want to get rid of this addiction. It's literally my only vice. And I just want to have it under control, not to say that I won't have a cup of coffee again, but I want to choose when I have it. So I'm doing a cold turkey. Uh, today, I think my neighbor offered me some matcha, which is very sweet. So I'm going to have some of that just because I'm feeling a little bit tired. It's day three and I was surprisingly okay the first day. The second day, which was yesterday, I got a bit of a headache towards the evening, like kind of like a sinus congestion. And today is day three, bright and early. It's 8.30 in the morning and I'm a little groggy, but I got this and I'm excited. I will keep you guys posted and just being transparent with you about all the little updates and kicking my coffee addiction is one of them. I do think that there are some benefits to coffee and you can use it as a tool. And especially if you're using, if you're drinking organic uh, sourced coffee, coffee can have a lot of mold in it. It can be sprayed with pesticides and chemicals. So if we're drinking that every day, that's not good. Actually, um, a lot of countries like Costa Rica, for example, they have high in incidences of stomach cancer. And I spoke to a doctor once who told me that she thinks it's because of the pesticides in the coffee and the vegetables. So that one kind of stuck with me. The coffee that I'm currently drinking now, or was drinking, um, is not certified organic, but 
they say it's organic, they just don't have the means to pay for the certification. So I'm kind of like, hmm, I don't know. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to stick with this for one month. I'll give you guys an update. It's November 1st, so you'll hear from me at the end of the month and we'll see, we'll see how I do. I know 100% I'm gonna make it to the one month because I got to the point where I got really fed up. So thank you guys for listening. I appreciate you so much. And just wanted to let you know if you're a new subscriber, I do have an ebook called A Guide to Ancestral Healing. It's all about eating and living an ancestral uh, lifestyle and ans eating ancestral food. It's got all the info in there and I would love for you to take a look. And if you can support us in some way, the description it's in the description below. Thanks guys so much for watching this video. And let me know, do you drink coffee? How does coffee make you feel? I'd love to hear about it. Don't forget to watch the other two videos on the screen. Have a great day.